Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a pet shop. And not only will I show you how to make the actual outside building of the pet shop, which you can see right now, I won't only just show you how to make this, but I will also include the inside of the pet shop. And in here, you can see we have a whole host of animals. Here we have a rabbit, we have a cat, we actually had a spider in here. I do not know where that's went. If anybody sees a spider around here, let me know. Incy is on the loose. We have a couple of fish tanks back here. No fish in stock at the moment. We have a few bats. We have a dog. And we also have a chicken for sale as well. And this is where you would buy all the things. And as you can see, there's some various treats. You can buy some carrots for the rabbits, some fish for the cats, and some bones for the dogs. But this is the inside of the pet shop. I'll also be showing you how to make that along with the outside. If you guys enjoy this tutorial, all I ask is that you drop it a like. I'd really, really appreciate that and maybe even give it a share as well if you really, really do like the place. But that is way more than enough talking. Why don't I show you how to actually make this thing? It's quite easy. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some sandstone, some block of quartz, some quartz stairs, some quartz slabs, some sea lanterns, some never brick fence, some string, some green carpet and some black stained glass. Plus, we'll need everything else that you can see in the, in the inventory right there. Plus, we'll probably need some more things later on as well because I've more than likely forgotten something. I always do. So, once you have each one of those materials and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it right about here, I think. Well, you're going to want to kick off this build with a row of five block of sandstone coming directly up from the ground. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, like that. What we now want to do is we want to take this first block in this row of sandstone and we want to go right of it by four with the quartz stairs. And these want to be upside down quartz stairs. So it will look like one, two, three, four. Then continuing to go right, place the sandstone. Now, still going right, but one row inwards, you want to place a block of quartz, go on top of that block of quartz by one, place a glass on top of it, go right by two of the glass, then go down by two of the block of quartz. Then, still going right, this time outwards, you want to place a sandstone block. Going right of that, do four upside down quartz stairs. That's one, two, three, and four. Then do a sandstone block to the right of that and go up by four. So that's one, two, three, four. Then go left until you connect all the way back to where you first started. Take the single sandstone blocks next to the entrance that we made and connect them up above to the row that we just formed. We now want to take this row of five that we have right in the top center here because, believe it or not guys, this is a row of five that we have right here. We want to go up on top of this and we want to do four rows of sandstone on top of this. So this will look like one row, two rows, three rows, and this is going to be four rows like that. You then want to do a row of upside down quartz stairs in front of that fourth row, like so. Underneath the top center upside down quartz stair, place a quartz block. Then coming down from this quartz block, you kind of want to leave a half gap and place a quartz slab. So like in the same block just below this, place a quartz slab just in the lower half. Then place two block of quartz coming down from those slabs. Then do upside down and regular facing quartz stairs left and right of those two lower quartz blocks. Kind of like this, so you want to form kind of like a circular-ish shape. You then, with your block of quartz, want to place one block of quartz in this position here, diagonal to the uh, upper stairs, and you want to place an upright diagonal with your quartz block here, upright diagonal of that upper right-hand corner stair to form kind of like a paw print. Then do a row of sandstone directly above the entrance and below the paw. So we just want to fill in that empty space that we had. And there you go, guys. That is the front-ish of your pet shop. Or most of it, really. Honestly, that's, that's most of the work done. So what we're now going to do is we're going to focus on the windows. The windows are very easy. In the tops of the windows, you guys know where these are, you want to have rows of regular-facing quartz stairs. Then, do black stained glass block or pane, completely up to you. I, I like black, uh, I like the glass blocks, personally, but that's just me. Fill those in. Then, we want to 
leaving a gap of one between the windows and uh, what we're basically placing here. We want to place a never brick fence in front of each end of the window, the left and right, and we want to leave a gap of one. And we want to have these never brick fence go up three blocks high. So we want to have this as a first, second, third, and we want the same thing on the other side. So one, two, and three coming up from that side, one, two, and three coming up from the other side. Then we want to place green carpet on top of the never brick fence. We then want to place string connecting the top two never brick fence together. And we also want to place a row of string in front of the, uh, the top of the window. The reason for this is because now we will be able to place green carpet here. And the string is just about invisible. You can very barely see it. I mean, you can see it if you look really, really, really hard. But... That is just kind of like a, a little overhang over the window. It looks nice. It contrasts well against the sandstone. Do the same thing on the other side. So on the other side, we want to have green carpet on top of the top never brick fence. Uh, we want to have string in front of the top of the window. We also want to connect the upper never brick fences together. And then we just want to place green carpet on top of all of this. And it, it just makes it look nice. I feel as though that I've just destroyed one of the strings or I've placed one in the wrong place. Let me see if I can remedy this little situation that we have here, there, and there. And there we have the nice little overhangs um, on the fronts of the windows now. Very, very simple stuff, guys. What we now want to do is this. So, come all the way over to the left-hand side of your pet shop. We want to take this very... First sandstone block that we place. This is the first one. We want to go left of this by one with your sandstone. Then we want to extend this sandstone block towards us by one. We then want to, going left one, leave a gap of one. Then we want to, coming back from the sandstone block, we want to come back, leave a gap of one. And then we want to connect back to where we first started. So we want to have a shape that is very much like this. As a matter of fact, we can knock out that back center block as well. So we have kind of like this shape. We want to place a row of five block of quartz right in the center of the shape. So it'll look like one, two, three, four, five, like that, right? We then want to raise up each one of those sandstone blocks all the way up to the top. So we want to raise up each one of these sandstone blocks all the way to the top. Because on each one of the four corners of our pet shop, we kind of have like these pillars. And for these pillars, we actually need a material that I didn't think about. We actually need sandstone slab for these pillars. And we just want to place a sandstone slab right at the bottom, right at the top of these pillars, right at the top, right at the bottom, right at the bottom right at the top. Although this this backside really doesn't matter. I don't know why I placed it like, like this. Um, we really don't need it because it's going to be covered up. But hey, we, we did it anyway, didn't we? So there we go. That is what the pillar looks like. And not only are we going to have this pillar here, but we'll have uh, the same one on the other side, for instance. So on the other side here, we want to take this bottom sandstone block. We want to extend it to the right by one. Then do a block of quartz to the right of it. Go on top of that quartz by four. One, two, three, four. We then kind of just want to do a sandstone block in the, in like, in front of the left hand side of that block of quartz, in front of the right hand side, coming out the back corner and coming out of the other back corner as well. So kind of like surrounding it diagonally, basically. Uh, we then want to raise up each one of these sandstone blocks until we reach the very top of the little quartz tower that we have. And then all we want to do is just place the sandstone, sandstone slabs going all the way around the base of and all the way around the top of the tower so we just want to have something which should look exactly like that very very easy stuff and what we now want to do is this so the next thing we want to do is we want to extend each one of these towers backwards we want to take the very center blocks in these towers um we'll start with the bottom and we want to extend them back by 15 with the sandstone so let's let's start with this back center bottom block this slab we want to extend it back by 15 with the sandstone that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and the same thing on the other side we want 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 we then want to place a block of quartz directly 
behind each one of those 15th blocks. And then we kind of want to do the exact same thing that we did to the other quartz blocks. Like we want to place um, sandstone blocks diagonally in relation to these, uh, in relation to these quartz blocks, kind of like form these shapes. And then we want to go on top of those sandstone blocks by one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, we want to do the same thing with the quartz, and then we kind of just want to go around the base of the quartz, um, where we can, with our sandstone slabs, um, exactly as we did on the front, like this. And um, we want to do the same thing on this opposite side, so if we start off with the quartz this time, we want to raise it up by 4, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we kind of just want to place sandstone in kind of like, uh, in kind of like, uh, in the corners, and then we just want to raise up the sandstone around it, it doesn't want to go any higher than than the quartz block itself, and then we just want to go around it with our sandstone slabs. Very, very simple stuff, very easy, nothing difficult about this whatsoever. And once we've done this, uh, all we have to do now is connect everything together. The way to do this is with sandstone. So now we just want to connect the very back center part of this together, so the center block to the center block. We want to connect the front and the back together as well. We don't just want to connect the back together we want to connect the front and the back together and once we've done that we then just want to add a couple of nice bits around plus we're also going to you see that front center bit that bit that pokes up yeah we're going to take that we're going to extend it back a few blocks probably about three or four about three or four blocks we'll extend it back and uh, we'll also turn that 3d and we'll make it look quite nice but not until we've uh, we've actually made the top of this look nice as well so um we're not done when we've built up all the walls we do have to like i said we have to make the top bit look a bit nicer and we also have to add windows to the top of the building yeah you heard me right to the top of the building but um once you've got all four of the walls constructed we now want to take out our quartz stairs and we want to have a row of upside down quartz stairs go all the way around basically the shape of the top of the pet shop so the way that this works is it kind of just wants to trace along top of the uh, sandstone blocks and on the corners it wants to look like this so on the corners it just wants to look like this sort of shape like it wants to curve around in well like a circular ish sort of shape so it just doesn't want to it wants to be a very calculated, circular, spire-looking shape on the corners. But as for everywhere else, um, it, it's just normal upside-down quartz stairs. It's very, very easy stuff. And uh, we're also going to be placing sea lanterns inside the holes on the corners. So you'll notice that in doing the corners in such a fashion, you'll, uh, you'll leave an empty gap right in the center where you have that center quartz. Well... All we're going to do is we're just going to throw a sea lantern in there and it's going to look quite nice by the time we have finished it because that is what we are aiming for to make it look quite nice. So I'm just going to uh, finish this off right here. Um, we've just got this corner, that's the last of the fiddly bits, as I like to call it. And then we're just going to extend this back. And there you go, there you have a pretty nice looking pet shop. For the most part, of course, we do have a couple more things to do, don't we? We do have just a couple more bits and bobs to do. But uh, the next thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to take the center part of this pet shop. So where we have this sticky out sandstone part, we're going to take the sandstone bit and we're going to extend it backwards by four rows with the sandstone so this will look like one two three four we're going to start right at the bottom where it conjoins to the stairs one two three four going to connect that together and now we're just going to build 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 this up and we're just going to build up these sides as well and we're also going to run upside down quartz stairs run all the way across the top we're going to do upside down quartz stairs running across the outside of the top here to make it look quite nice and well there we go and then that will allow us to fill the top of this thing in with a little bit of um, black stained glass because why not and just in case you want the top to look a little bit brighter a little bit lighter something else that you can do which you won't be able to see unless you are at the top or unless it's night time and you're inside the shop throw some sea lanterns in there because why not and we're also going to throw sea lanterns um inside each one of the four corners just because it's quite nice looking so 
we want to have something which should look like this. That is wonderful. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a layer of block of quartz inside the top of the roof. So we're just going to add a layer of block of quartz going all the way around the inside of the top of the roof. This is going to kind of smooth things off a little bit. This is going to make the inside of the top of the roof look nice and smooth. It's going to form a big giant rectangular box shape and it's going to make it easy to fill in. So we want to have something which should look like this. We also want to separate, you see the top of the roof here, we want to take these uh we want to basically do a row of block of quartz here like just behind the bit that pokes out here we want to take a row of block of quartz and extend it out of the back of the sandstone and then we want to take those blocks of quartz and we want to connect them to the back so we want to form very very solid shapes here for this particular part of the roof and as a matter of fact something that I might like a little bit more is if we take um, left and right of this just to make the roof uh, split into more even parts if we take left and right of the top of the roof and if we extend that instead so if we just like add left and right here and if we just keep that middle bar of quartz so we have something that looks like this I think that I'd actually like that a bit better so all that's left here is to fill the top bit of this in with black stained glass which is something that you can do right now or what I am going to do because I don't want to do too many things off recording off screen what I'm now going to do instead of filling in the roof I'm going to do the inside of the shop just a little bit so I'm now going to transition to the inside of the shop and I'm going to show you how it's laid out a little bit more so I'm going to grab the uh, oakwood fence I'm going to grab the iron bars uh, oakwood planks spruce planks stone slabs sign hardened Cyan hardened clay? Okay, cyan hardened clay. I thought it was called cyan stained clay, whatever. Ice, uh, buttons, and I'll grab some glass panes as well. So, on the inside of the shop here, we'll start on the left-hand side. I'm starting from the front left-hand corner of the inside of the shop. Um, what we're going to do is, we're just going to knock out this corner here. And I guess I can, uh, with the sandstone. I'm just going to knock out that corner to smooth it off on the inside a little bit. Just like this. There we go, just so that it looks a bit nicer, just uh, a bit smoother. And um, from this corner block, we want to have an empty space that is um, three by three. So we want to have a three by three empty space, which means that we have to count in and we have to find the fourth block in. So from the wall, one, two, three, four. This is a fourth. And we want to have a row of four oakwood fence coming out from the wall. That's one, two, three, four. And then connect that to the window like this. So we want a three by three space, which necessitates a uh, four by four fence, if you guys can see how that works. Now, leaving a gap of one between this row of four fence that we have, we want to have another row of four fence, just like I said, one gap away coming across this wall. So that's one, two, three, four. And then this time we want to go right of this four fence. We want to go right of it by five. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then we want to connect back to the wall again. Then leaving a gap of one between this and coming out of the back here, um, we want to leave a gap of one and coming out of the wall again We now want to grab our old power glass pane and we want to have a row of four glass pane coming away from the wall That's one two three four and then we want to connect that to the back wall and what we can do is we can uh, just destroy um, This like corner sandstone block this corner sandstone block. Oh god. No, we got rid of the quartz Oh, what an awful tragedy. I'm just gonna have to build that quartz back up Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Problem solved. And I'm um, just going to build this up a little bit now. Just going to smooth off that corner just a little bit. I do have um, some slabs in some pretty awkward places, but, uh, you know, whatever. And uh, I can also place that there, can't I, without that affecting anything wonderful because I don't want the corners to look uh, weird at all. There we go. Um, so we now have the glass here right in this back corner. And uh, I'm just going to build this particular glass up. I'm going to add two more layers of glass on top of it. So I just want to add like one more layer of glass, almost one layer. That's half a layer. Oh, no, I placed it in the wrong place. I'm not doing very well at this. And then I'm going to add another layer of glass directly on top of this. And I uh, just want it to look a little something like that. Now I'm going to take out the uh, spruce wood slabs. And I'm just going to do a row of spruce wood slabs on top of this. And this is just where the spider lives. Or any animal that doesn't tend to run off um, would live in here. Just in there. 
Um, now, on this back wall here, we're going to have a row of fish tanks. We just have two of them. So, coming across the back wall, leaving a gap of one between um, the terrarium, which is where the spider lives, and a gap of one, we want to have um, a row of three science stained clay. That's one, two, three. Then leave a gap of one, and then do one, two, three science stained clay going right. Then we want to place ice on top of this, and then we want to place stone slabs on top of the ice. And then we just want to place buttons in front of the cyan stained clay, like that. Those are supposed to be little fish tanks or just generic tanks. Then, leaving a gap of one between that second fish tank, you want to um, place four iron bars coming out of the back wall towards the front. So that's one, two, three, four. Then connect it to the right hand wall. Add two rows of bars on top of the first row of existing bars, like this. So that's one. And then that is going to be two. Let me see here. And then I'm just going to smoothen out this wall again. I just want to smooth out this wall because it uh, it really doesn't look good. Um, and it I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't look good. Basically, it uh, it looks nicer if the whole uh, if the whole wall smooth as uh, as opposed to it not being. Um, I'm now just going to add a row of spruce wood slabs directly on top of the iron bars, and um, this will form like the little bat cage. Um, bats will live in there. Now. Um, coming across the right hand wall, you know what, whilst I'm at it, whilst I'm fixing walls, I'm going to fix the front right hand corner wall before this one becomes a problem because uh, the chickens are going to live in this wall and uh, I don't want to have to disturb them. There we go, so we can get rid of those now. Okay, so moving across the right hand wall, coming towards the front again, we want to, leaving a gap of one, where are you? Leaving a gap of one, we want to have a row of four oak wood fence coming out of the wall. So, gap of one, one, two, three, four. Take this fourth fence and go right of it towards the front by five. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then connect it to the wall. Leave a gap of one again and do your next row of four fence. One, two, three, four. Then connect it to the window. And there you have each one of the little enclosures that we have for each particular animal. Next thing we're going to do here is we're going to make the till where we sell all sorts of stuff. And uh, to make the till, you need a couple of things, actually. You're going to need mainly, mainly oak wood stairs. You'll need uh, some spruce wood slabs. You'll also need, I have a feeling I have all these in my inventory, um, some stone brick stairs. Um, we need a never brick fence. Uh, we need some like item frames, raw fish, bones, carrots, that sort of stuff. Okay. So, the till is actually right in the center of the shop. Uh, an easy way to find this is to find the four center blocks in these biggest enclosures. So, where the cats and the dogs are, you want to find the four center blocks. So, it's like these four. You guys can see these. It's these four middle ones. And uh, the till actually sits three rows away from these. So, if you would count in the floor, it's like one row away, two row away, three rows away. And then it sits right here. And uh, it's actually uh, four blocks long, like this. Four blocks long. It's connected together with a spruce wood slab on either end. And then it's just oak wood stairs, like this. So it's just oak wood stairs on this sides like this. It has a gap here on the, uh, the right-hand side as you walk in here. It has a never brick fence on this corner block, on this corner block this corner block but not this corner block because the till is here so we're going to have a till there um we're going to have item frames on the outer facing parts of the never brick fence and these are basically i mean you, you guys have been to like pet shops and shops in general um these are just little stands that you can buy like treats off of like dog treats cat treats rabbit treats in this case anything and uh if you want to make the till look a little bit nicer something that you can do is you can add uh you can add a wooden trap door here just uh so that you can like walk in and out and it makes uh, the till look just a little bit nicer and uh, if you like, what you can also add, something that I've just thought about right now, is uh, you could add a weighted pressure plate, maybe like next to the till on the left and right, and it, it makes it just look a little bit more professional. Okay, next thing we're going to do. So, 
A couple of these enclosures have some unique things about them. Uh, for instance, the cat enclosure has like a big giant scratching post thing. And we need spruceable planks for this part. We also need some spruceable slabs. We need some red carpet. Uh, something that we don't have is we actually need some ladders, uh, which are right here. Okay, so my cat lives right here, right center left. Um, it has a scratching, kind of like a scratching climbing frame thing, and that is basically three spruce wood planks coming out from the ground at the back, that's one, two, three, and then we place like a spruce wood slab coming out left here and right like on the upper part and the lower part, we want to have red carpet, okay, maybe, maybe not there, maybe it's uh, a block lower so we can actually place the carpet, so maybe here for instance, and maybe just one block lower as well. So we can place the carpet on it, basically, is what we're after. So there and there, we can place red carpet. And then we have ladders climbing up, so that's kind of like a nice little kitty scratching post. I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Uh, the dog also has something unique as well. The dog has a little house to live in. Um, it's basically made of red stained clay and quartz slabs. Um, we want to have two rows of red stained clay coming out from this back wall. It's one row here, one row there. And um, we want to have, actually, it, it starts on the left here. It starts on the left-hand side, and we have a row of red stain clay. Um, it's attached to the fence. Don't worry about that. Then we leave a gap of one. We want another row of red stain clay. We want quartz slabs on top of the clay, and then we want a row of quartz slabs just above. And that is where the dog would live, um, in there. And if you can, if you like, you can also destroy the floor. You can uh, make it red or another color, and you can also make the back a different color if you want as well, if you're so bothered. Um, dog lives in there. Um, a couple of other things you may want to add, you might want to add some like hay bales um, to the front enclosures like where the rabbit and the chickens would live and stuff. If you like, if you're bothered, it's completely up to you, this isn't necessary, you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, for the spider and the bats, I actually don't have anything special for those, um, and nothing nothing I felt like adding in there. Um, for the bat, you might want to place a little bit of a tree. Um, the bats, I'm just thinking about this now guys, I'm literally just making this up on the spot. Um, for for the bats, maybe like, um, they seem to like trees and stuff, don't they? They like to like hide in trees and caves and stuff. So, or, or maybe you just want something like that, maybe, maybe you want like a little... Just a little hidey away cave for the bats. I, I don't know, guys. It's completely up to you, really, um, what uh, what sort of nuances you want to add to this. But maybe, like, uh, just some, like, oak fence and stuff. Just just something that the bats can, like, hide and hang on, basically, um, is what I'm getting at. Um, for the spider, I can't actually think of anything for the spider at all. What what would the spiders like? Maybe, maybe like, a little cave enclosure, something like that. Maybe, like, a little bit of a cobblestone hut to hide in. No? Yeah? I, I don't know. I don't know what the spiders... You guys are always good at this. I, I don't know what the spiders would want. Maybe maybe something a little bit like this. Maybe like some sort of like little cave. I've got no clue. I don't know what the spiders would want, but I'm adding that in there anyway. Okay, now that we've done that, there's a couple of things that we need to do to the inside. So, the inside is very, very simple from here. We All we have to do is carpet the place, right? It's so easy. We need to grab some oak wood planks. We need some spruce wood planks. We also need uh, ourselves some stone slabs. So we're going to go around the base of the enclosures and where the enclosures actually touch the ground around the edges, we're going to make those spruce wood planks. You guys can actually see me doing this right now, right? You can see me like all the way around the edges to kind of like separate the floor and the enclosure. We just want to do spruce wood planks around the edges, right? Yeah? Easy, easy, easy stuff. Inside the enclosures, we want that to be like oak planks. Like that. Every single one of these, that's how that wants to go. Also, same sort of thing here for the till, like uh, underneath the till, make it make it look different, make it look fancy. Add, add some sort of different block underneath the till, and then make the center of the till whatever you want, maybe even a little bit of red carpet, something like that. Everywhere else, inside the shop, is going to be stone slabs. So. I'm going to go away and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do a few things. So I'm going to add glass to the roof, I'm going to add slabs, uh, I'm going to add planks and stuff around and inside the enclosures, and I'm going to completely redo the floor in stone slabs, and then I'll show you where the carpet goes. I'm going to do that and I'll be back. This will take a while, I'll show you what it looks like and then you guys can probably do it from there once you actually see what you're supposed to do. Back in a moment. So this is what the inside of your pet shop should roughly look like once you've added in the floor. Yeah, that's right. That's probably about what it should look like. Now, I realize that that takes a little while to do, and we do have some more things to do. So you may have to pause this video right here, apply everything that you see, do the floor, 
do the ceiling, get those things taken care of, and once you've done that, you can then move on to this next bit. So, the next bit is going to be us putting the animals in the enclosures. So, I'm going to start off with the spider. Um, the spider seems to die. Um, don't know why exactly, um, but the spider seems to run away or die. Uh, not sure why that is, guys, but he might not be in there for long. Um, I'm also going to add a, an ocelot, which is in this middle enclosure. The spider is in this glass one at the back. Um, ocelot in this left one with the scratching post. I'm going to throw a chicken in this front left-hand enclosure. Um, right in the back right-hand enclosure. And you've got to be quick with these little guys because they are very, very quick and they uh, they tend to escape. So um, in this back right-hand corner one, we have a bat. And I'm going to place it right there and I'm going to quickly seal up the uh, the little cage and he's going to go and hide in there. Um, I'm going to place a dog in the middle right hand side right there and I'm going to place myself a nice little, did I, oh a rabbit is supposed to go in that corner but it doesn't matter we can invert them and we're going to place a, a rabbit or two um, in this front right hand one. Um, so there we go we have all of the animals that we could possibly want from our pet shop. Um, I wish we could have fish, uh, I honestly do. Uh, you, you can't, not really. I did try to have a squid. Um, you can't see it once it's in the tank, so it's it's kind of pointless. So we just have to have these fake ones, um, really. But that's the, that's the inside of the pet shop, guys, pretty much. That is the entire inside of the pet shop. Why don't... Oh, never mind. No, it's not, because on the inside of the pet shop, we, what we can now do, by the way, something that I want to do, is add a little bit of red carpet. Um, just inside here, where we have the till and stuff, I'm going to add some red carpet. And I'm also going to add some red carpet, like, going all the way around the till as well, like, leaving a gap of one between the till and the carpet. I'm just going to add a little bit of it like this. Um, I'm going to add as much as I can without it becoming intrusive at all. I'm just going to add um, a few rows of carpet just to brighten the place up a little bit. But I also don't want there to be too much of it. So it's now even at the front and the back. All you have to That's all you have to do. It's so easy. Just add a bit of red carpet. And it makes it look quite nice. Um, let's talk about the outside. How did you get here? How did you... Yeah, run away. Okay. So... The outside of the pet shop. Uh, not as important as the inside. We have done the inside completely. I'm going to grab some block of quartz, some jungle leaves, and some cyan stained clay. Uh, plus, I'm also going to grab some uh, stone slabs because I forgot them. Okay. Basically, on the outside, all I'm going to have here is I'm going to dig around an area um, for the outside of this pet shop. I'm going to dig an area around the pet shop. Um, I'm going to have basically like... I'm going to leave a gap of one going all the way around the shop like this. Um, this is where the pet shop ends. I'm, I'm going to have a bit of block of quartz. Another rabbit. Unbelievable. Um, I'm going to have, uh, just like quartz going all the way around, uh, around the shop. Like this, right? Just a layer of quartz. Um, I'm going to dig this out entirely and I'll fill it in at a later date. But I'll just, I'll just like do it at the front here. Because the only thing that this pet shop has, because I am trying to build a city, um, it has a couple of parking bays out in front here. And um, we're just going to have uh, rows of four jungle leaves coming out from the very end here. So like one, two, three, four. And another row of jungle leaves. Um, one, two, three, four. Actually, we'll make that five. So we'll make it a row of five jungle leaves coming out from either side. And then coming inwards from those first jungle leaves we placed, I'm going to have a row of um, five stone slabs. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to take that fifth stone slab and then I'm going to extend it forwards until it's even with the hedge. And then I'm going to take this first slab that I just extended. I'm going to extend it left by four. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to place a jungle leaf and then I'm going to extend that forward so it's even with the hedge. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. So I'm going to take this first inside hedge. I'm going to go right of it by five of the slabs. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then extend extend it forwards by four, um, one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to take that same slab that extended. I'm going to extend it right by four, one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to place a jungle leaf and extend that forwards until it's all even. So you can see that we now have some parking spaces. Um, I'm going to dig in between these two center hedges, the one where we have just the gap of three. Um, this is going to be a little walkway all the way up to the pet shop. I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to connect my pet shop to my city that I'm very, very slowly building over in that direction but I am going to connect them some way somehow um, so basically um, in front here where we have the spaces between like the jungle leaves and the slabs uh, these are parking bays for cars um, 
if you want to make a car, by the way, just out of curiosity, I have a tutorial for that. Um, you can make fully customizable, pretty decent looking cars. Um, I might actually do a couple more in the future because you don't want to do the same car all the time. But um, the areas that I've just dug out, I'm going to place um, cyan hardened clay in there. Uh, all of the area around the pet shop, I'm going to place block of quartz in there. This is going to take me a while. This will be the end of the tutorial, but I'm going to do that. I'll come back and then we can say goodbye. So this is just in case you want to set up very much like mine. Um, I'll be back in a second once I've done all that. So this is how I want the outside of my pet shop to look. You might want yours to look a little bit differently, but it's very, very easy. You just dig those rows around the actual pet shop, fill that in with quartz, fill the parking bays in with cyan stained clay. And uh, there you have a very nice looking pet shop um, with an interior as well. Uh, if you want to come and buy an animal, you see that cave spider, he, well, he's not a cave spider, although he does have a cave. That spider has disappeared completely, um, but we still have everybody else here. Um, is the bat in here as well? Is it just the, oh no, the bat's still there. Why does the spider disappear? Is this something that I don't know about spiders? Um, the rabbits also, also ran away. That explains why we saw the rabbits outside. I'm guessing it is because, um, we have one too many hay bales, but I, I'm, I'm never going to catch those rabbits. I just hope they despawn. But anyway, that's the inside of the pet shop. That's the outside of the pet shop. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like favorite, share, anything you feel like doing to help me out. You guys really, really wanted this one, and I actually really enjoyed making this. It was so much fun. Uh, I love designing the inside of the place as well. It was really, really cool. Um, follow me on Twitter, at TSMC360. If you make this, if you make any variation of this, or if you have something that you want to show me, follow me on Twitter and show me a picture of it. I love that stuff. Comment down below. Would you like to see anything else like this? Do you have something else for your city that you want to build? I'm focusing quite a bit on city builds recently, and, uh, well, I think that you guys like it, so let me know down there in the comments what I should build next. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the cards. Check out the description below. Not only do I build things like pet shops, I also build things like train stations, and I also have a giant park over there with an insane amount of varied builds that you might not imagine. You might be able to see a couple of them. So, check out the cards. Check out the description below. I probably have made something that you would like. In all likelihood, out of the literal thousand or so builds that I have on the channel, I think that you guys would find something that you'd like. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.